Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to be explaining the different types of flows like laminar flow and transition flow and turbulent flow. So first of all, starting with the laminar flow, a laminar flow is a very disciplined and a very orderly flow and the layers in the laminar flow do not mix with each other. And also the transfer of momentum and energy is also distributed in a molecular at a molecular level. The flow of laminar flow or the type of the laminar flow is usually encountered in viscous fluids. So viscous means that the viscosity of that fluid which is very high. So when those type of fluids flow, so they are usually not flowing randomly and the layers are not mixing in them, but they are flowing very uh, in a steady, uniform and a very orderly manner. For example, you can try to imagine about honey. If the honey is in the jar and you try to pour it in a plate or something, so it's very orderly and the flow is very uh, steady and very uniform and the flow layers do not mix or they do not make a kind of a random uh, weird look whenever you watch that honey getting poured in the, uh, on the plate. So that type of a flow in which the layers do not mix and the flow is orderly is called a laminar flow. The examples are arteries and veins, uh, the blood in the arteries and veins is laminar and also the laminar conditions have some limitation. They are not always laminar but they are laminar till a certain velocity and when the velocity changes then it might change to transition or turbulent flow. So here you can see in this uh, particular uh, diagram they are trying to show you an experiment usually that people perform in order to explain the laminar flow. Also if I just draw a diagram of a pipe here and try to show you how the laminar flow looks like if you want to. So let's say these are the boundaries of the pipe that we are trying to inspect here and the blue color will represent the water or the fluid flowing. So in laminar case you can see this is one layer then another layer the third layer, then the fourth, maybe fifth one, sixth one. So you can see this is a very orderly uh, arrangement of these flows, right? Orderly, I don't know if the spellings are correct or not, but you can check that. Orderly, right? So a very orderly flow of fluid is, uh, and a, uh, the one in which the layers are not mixing is called a laminar flow laminar flow. Let's get back to the explanation. So in this case you can see that in usually in experiments in the laboratories they have a pipe in which the fluid is flowing and they use a dye trace so that the dye trace will have a color that will be added to that fluid and then you can watch it more uh, clearly that how the fluid is flowing and in laminar case the fluid will be just flowing in a straight manner in an orderly manner and you can say that that's laminar. On the other hand the turbulent is totally opposite to the laminar flow. In turbulent the layers are mixing and the flu flow is not in a uh, orderly way. At any location the velocity varies about a mean value and the air flow and the water flow in the pipes are generally turbulent. right? So you can see that this is a sort of a turbulent flow. The transition is in between laminar and turbulent flow. So this is what we can say is the explanation of the laminar and turbulent flow and transition flow. Let's uh, try to also make the kind of a flow in the turbulent flow. So you can see that in this case you don't have basically the layers in a proper manner but they are mixing so maybe one layer goes and mixes with the other one or maybe they try to hit the surface due to excessive velocity and then they bounce back and this hits here it bounces back and they mix with each other so a random uh, movement of uh, layers of uh, fluid is so kind of turbulent flow right turbulent flow now that's an easy explanation everyone understands it but the main thing you need to understand is how would you recognize if this is laminar transition or turbulent mathematically now physically if you're watching a fluid flowing you can say it's turbulent or laminar but if you are 
sitting in your exam and you have been given a example or a problem or a numerical in which different values are given and you're asked if this is laminar turbulent or transition so how would you uh, say if it's laminar or turbulent or transition so for that we have an a formula which is called as Reynolds number which we have here and we will explain that in the next lecture so we will explain the Reynolds number in detail in the next lecture and we will explain that how would you recognize if this is laminar turbulent or transition by putting certain values which are the characteristics of the flow of that fluid flowing in that pipe right so for this lecture I hope you understood about different types of flows which are laminar turbulent and transition in the next lecture, we will use the Reynolds num uh, number formula to explain how we can recognize if the flow is laminar turbulent or transition using mathematical uh, parameters. Thank you very much.